What's going on, everybody? Let's crack some Ikoria. We're going all the way back to... Is this 2020? Yeah, we're going back to 2020. So, let's do it. Lots of, lots of good hits in here. Lots of, uh... Believe it or not, like... I think Commander 2020's in here, too. We, we, we have chances at some SWATs and some Guardians. Maybe not Guardians. Definitely SWAT. So... Let's get started. It's been uh, it's been a couple months, I think, since I've cracked Ikoria and uh, okay, yeah, these aren't the Japanese boxes. Ram through, okay. Yeah, we'll put that there. All right, here's our Commander 2020. Okay, Boneyard. Okay, Emergent Ultimatum. Okay, we got the full art on Emergent. Um, very nice classification, full art foil, okay, lore, whisper, apex of forever, these things used to be something, um, but not, not really much anymore, to be honest, and here we go, the Liger, there he is, not foil, and the Great Horn, okay, price is up on the screen, as always, um, I keep forgetting the foiling is different on these older, I say older, older packs. Adaptive, Evolving Wilds, okay, the Crystal, we got some Swampage, and there we go, Decoy Gambit, that's our 2020 hit. Okay, Song of Creation, I, I think this is like a buck or two to be honest, that's nothing crazy. Cub Warden, we got the Cloud Piercer, Gem Razor, saw that in Fallout, uh, nothing crazy there, and oh. We got the Wandering Monster. There we go, in foil. Uh, that's a couple bucks. Doom Inevitable. Yeah, this is the Dinosaur Turtle guy. And lore. Okay. That one's not a bad, uh, not a bad little hit. Dinosaur, okay. And we got some more turtles. Sabretooth. I love this set. I, you know, I hope that... Um, Bloomboro comes out and it's it has a feel like this. Put a soul counter on altar, put your commander into your hand from the command zone, then you lose three life for each soul counter. Hmm. Okay. Okay. It's kind of nice if, like, your commander dies a bunch of times, right? And then you throw that out there to pull him back in. The Spell Chaser, full art. A little Slither Wisp doing nothing. Cloud Piercer, we got the Shark. Oh, a nice Triome. Ketria Triome. Um, awesome. And King Caesar. Boom. Apex of the Hunt. I don't think he's doing too much, to be honest, but um, it is what it is. And, oh, look at that. Full art. Narset of the Ancient Way. All right. That's that's a nice one. I don't, I don't know what that one's doing either. Awesome. That was a pretty good pack with a Triome, Caesar. I mean, th the thing about him, though, I mean, he, I don't. Uh, the one's worth something, uh, but that's the wrong one, I think. Dismal, okay. Planes, planes. There we go. We got the Retriever, partner. Okay, Titan's Nest. Nothing crazy there. Crasher. Great horn. Luca uh, Coppercoat Outcast. He's a couple bucks. And Godzilla. Godzilla the champion. Nothing. Man, that was a nice hit in that previous pack of that last slot, huh? That's pretty awesome. Beast. Yeah. Reflexes, caves, bar finder. Vitality Hunter, Lifelink Monstrosity. Yeah. Zerda, Obosh, Foil. Cub Warden, oh, a shame. All right, here we go, Cyberclaw Terror. And then we got a Volcapete. Man, we only have one Triumph to speak of. Five packs in? Like, yikes! That's not very good. This is the this is what you need triomes for, folks. 
Okay. Glade Muse, when a player casts a spell, that player draws a card if it's not their turn. Frontland Felidar. Ruinous Ultimatum, full art foil. That would be great if this wasn't reprinted in Fallout. Trium, there we go, speak of the devil. Awesome, these things are right around 15 to $20. Unless things moved since the last time I price checked everything. Gem Razor. Okay, if this would be great if it wasn't just pre-printed in the uh, Fallout, right? And then the Recluse. Um, so we need Triums. We need like, you know, this box is like, I think I bought it for two fifty. And I need like Triums to to make up this this two fifty, folks. Sleeper Dart, Planes. Okay, we got the Metamorph. Okay, Inspired Ultimatum, Full Art. Our player gains land loan deals five damage and a target that you draw five cards. Yeah. Pretty nice. Mythos of Vadrock. Okay. Oh, boom, another triome. That's what we that's what we need. We need you, triomes. We need you. Death Corona. There he is. Boom. Death Corona and non-foil though. Um and then Whisperer. Give me a foil trium, huh? Foil trium, depending on which one, maybe around like 30? Plus or minus 5? Plus or minus 5. Cat. Banish. Scatter. Forest. There it is in the Rangers. Top card of your library at any time. As long as your opponent controls more lands than you, you may play lands from the top of your library. Not too bad. The Macro Sage. Apex of Forever foil. Okay. Shore Shark. We got the Lore. We got the Octopus. Sea Dasher. Love the... Love the art, though, huh? Godzilla, Inevitable Doom once more. The Wandering Tortoise. And no Triome to speak of. No triome to speak of. Feather. <laughs> There's actually a feather token. Funny. Forager, delve. When he attacks, she may return an instant or sorcery card to its owner's hand. Okay. Kahira. Okay. Labyrinth Raptor. When a creature you control with menace becomes blocked, defending player sacrifices a creature blocking it. Too bad, Dreamtail Heron. All right, Monsters Advocate Vivian. She's she's not doing that great. Godzilla. Okay, that's in the foil, and that's not a bad one. Oh, and a foil, foily. Triome. I think this one's going for right around thirty-two. On direct. So that's the one you want to see in that final slot. Um, that is in the wrong pile, and. Pretty great. So at this point, what are we at? We're at three triomes. Um, we have one foil, no standard frame. They're all the old, uh, extended art feather. <laughs> Glimmer Bell, Parcel Beast. This comes right from the post office. Oh, a little tribulite. Okay. Yeah, I think he's like three bucks. The Raptor. Genesis Ultimatum Foil. Love to see that. Volca Pete. Migratory Greathorn. Uh, three, 30 cent Gem Razor. And the Perfect Pet. He's another 30 cents. Glowstone. Well, that pack took us a little bit to Pound Town. Come on down to Pound Town. Windscarred Craig Foil. Okay, Splendor Swamp. Bonder's Ornament. Uh, that's an uncommon. I'm sorry, it's a common. <laughs> Each player controls the permanent Bonder's Ornament draws a card. Loros. Okay. Love to see the Loros. Colossification, standard frame. Great Horn. I think I see a Triome. I do, it's an Indatha. This comes in for number four, which is great because we need value coming back. Give us the value. 
Indatha, and then we got the Everquill Phoenix, which is another 30 cents, and the Necropanther, which is a negative 30 cents. Only joking. It's just not worth a lot. I'm only joking. Man. Gremlin. Island. Okay. We got the Sky Shark Rider. Okay. Partner. Target Sky Rider until the end of turn. Okay. I don't know what he's doing. The Everwise. Okay. Hunted Nightmare. I don't. I just don't know what this this one's doing either. Cavern Whisper. Recluse. Snapdax. Apex of the Hunt in the Borderless. The Perfect Pet in Foil, which might bring it up to. 60 cents and a little harvester so this box really took us to uh took us to town um yeah that's that's not good give us some good vibes here on this last box send those good vibes come on send the vibes that was a rough go i think we got four triumphs right Some of those crystals are a little bit of money. Agitator Ant, okay, okay. Revenge. Okay, a little Dirge. Dirgy Purgy, and oh, a big Dirgy Purgy. Um, Godzilla Foil. I would just love to see that in foil. Uh, I think it's like seven bucks, you know. Again, I, I don't look at prices before I start the video, it's just from memory. Um... We got the Manascape Refractor. Enters the battlefield tap. Does all abilities. All lands on the battlefield. Pretty good. Slither Wisp. Loot Tree. The full foil version. Sometimes people like those full foils. They're just not going for a lot. All right. We got our first Triome. Sly Triome. And then we got the Cyberclaw Terror. And a uh, Majestic Arachorn. All right, dinosaur. We got some scorpions, which was once a great common. Flux, fire, flux squad, haste, you may. Ooh, yeah, fire, flux squad. Yorion, I love this card so much, and it's a borderless um, extended art, rather. Offspring's Revenge, okay. Cloud Piercer. Harvester. Oh, another Triumph. Second Triumph. Ketria. Very nice. <laughs> we got the Liger and a Sea Dasher Octopus Foil. Oh. Other way around. That was a pretty nice pack. Octopus Man. I don't know what he's doing. He, he, it's not a good hit in that back slot. That's not what you want to see. That's just not what you want. You want to see a foil. Fire Prophecy. You want to see a foil. Ryum. Curious Herd. Yeah. You create X, 3-3 three, three Beast Tokens, where X is the number of artifacts that player controls. Pretty good these days with everybody doing treasure token nonsense. When a non-token creature you control dies by the top two cards you're on the graveyard, and then the creature with lesser converted mana cost and the creature that died from the graveyard of the hand, sacrifice it, you gain life equal to the converted mana cost. Okay. Yeah, I, I, um, I don't know. I don't think that's doing anything crazy. Ruinous again. Okay, we got the Dasher. Man, lots of octopus in here. King Caesar, Awoken Titan. Now this is the foil version, but I think it's the wrong Titan. I could be, I, I could be wrong. It could be the wrong Apex. Um, a Cat Nightmare, Dinosaur Cat. Um, so I'm gonna sleeve it up. Just because I'm not sure. Um, one of them's going for like 60 or 70 bucks. And I don't think it's this one. I don't think we we were as lucky. We weren't so lucky, folks. Um, pretty sure it's the life gain death touch one, if I recall. If I do recall, Cloud Piercer. Zenith Flare. Okay, we got the Nest Warden. Hmm, yeah. Dinosaur cat creature. 
Man, are we sensing a theme here? I only got the same mythos. Volcapete, Shark, and the Apex of Forever. Yeah. Uh, Godzilla. There we go. King of the Monsters. Strength Incarnate. And a Cavern Whisper. I think we're, what, two Triomes in? I feel like I need a Triome counter where I gotta hit the button to count my Triomes for me, right? Uh, Dinosaur Beast. Okay. Easy Prey Mountain. The Ozolith. Yes. 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 That's a hit, folks. That's what you want to see all day long in that slot. Beautiful. Awesome Ozolith. Lumina. We got no. Oh, That's a great pack. That, ooh. And then the Turtley Man again. That is a excellent, excellent. Pack. Very nice. Very nice. That's a that was probably a sixty dollar pack. If the Ozolith is forty, you guys are gonna laugh if it's dropped since the last time I've looked. <laughs> okay, Barracuda. Okay, Sovereign Genesis Ultimatum. Okay. We got the Apex of the Hunt once more. And a Gem Razor. Yippee Skippy. And nothing. Catbird. Yeah. Boot nipper. Nipping at those boots. X11 counters, okay, okay, okay. Extinction event, that used to be something. Not anymore. Slither Wisp, yeah. Yeah. Also used to be a lot more than it is. Gem Razor. Yikes. Ozolith there, the Uzis was the best, uh, <laughs> Best pull so far. <clears throat> well, I hope that's foily going, going decent amount. Um, I'll go through that, you know, later. But light of hope something. I probably didn't put it up on the screen though. Destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment. The raptor. We pulled a couple of you already. We pulled you in the non-foil. Oh, all right, and a triumph finally with another death corona. Death corona. Yeah, they're still. I mean, Death Corona is not like what it used to be when it was all speculation during COVID. Um, but it's still a couple bucks. I mean, it's not like it's a it's a dead hit. You know, yeah, it's it's still still something. Islands. Bastion. Bastion's a couple bucks too, right? That one's a great one. Gigantothornium. And Umori? Little eerie ultimatum, love eerie ultimatum. Dreamtail cavern. We got Luca once more coming in in the borderless, followed by the Titanoth Rex, Titanoth Rex, Rexis, Titanoth, Rexius. Check out my Patreon too, guys. Go on, check it out. If you want to get in on some of these openings, um. You know, a, a good way to do that is going forward. I'm going to have options and stuff like that for folks that join. Devour of the free. Okay. Sacrifice a human. Uh, oh, man, we keep pulling her. Man, too bad we didn't pull that general guy. The, the one guy that's actually, like, worth 40 or $45. Right? Cub Warden. Ah, uh, now we did it. Now... Now you did it. You went and done it, and you pulled it. This was the one I was talking about, folks. I think this one's like fifty dollars, something like that. I actually wanted to make this a commander of mine, to be honest, because like I honestly think for a life gain commander, this is like pretty awesome, right? So like if you have maybe angels, something like that, um, this is a great. Man, it really glows in the center. Well, in, in my mind, the whole box has is, is been a success because I've been wanting to pull a full foil of this for forever, and I've never done it. So, 
well worth it. That last box is, I mean, we're probably close to break even on that last box now with the Ozolith, the Triomes, a couple other things, that guy. Um, you know, we're, we did all right in this last box. The first box was, uh, it was rough. Species specialist, okay. Okay, a couple bucks, I think. It should be, Bonders Enclave. Lurus, a foil, unfortunately it was reprinted. The Triome to finish us off here, and this is the same Triome that you would want to run in that life gain deck that I was just mentioning. Um, 30 cents on him, and nothing in the last card. So, thanks folks for tuning in. Check out my, like I said, my Patreon, check out my website. Um, yeah, we'll talk to you all soon. See you later.